Hi everyone and welcome to my scrappy space. Today we get the privilege of playing along with Simple Stories Saturday and I just love the versatility of Simple Stories. Sometimes it's super fun and whimsical and sometimes it just has a real serious note to it and you can just do so many different things with it. So the little photo that I'm going to scrapbook is a picture of my Nana. She was wearing this little clover crown and I was just thinking about her and how she's just a little wild thing. And I want to be like my Nana. <laughs> she is just fun and she takes the little mundane things and she just makes them amazing. And I just love her outlook on life, I guess is the best way to say it. So I was going through some of my Simple Stories papers and I saw this branding strip and it said wildflower and I'm like, my Nana is a little wildflower. So that's gonna be the title of my scrapbook page. And then I'm not 100% sure what layout I'm gonna use, but I do love this paper. And I have this yellow here. And then I have this gorgeous striped paper. And I think that's going to be my base, but I'm not 100% sure. And then I have this moth paper. And we have a cameo appearance from Jazzy, little Miss Tazzy Jazzy here. And then, oh, you guys, this pink gingham and these beautiful florals. Now, I will probably end up fussy cutting some of these. I don't know that I have any ephemera, but we will go and look at that. So I'm so I'm gonna play around with these papers for a little bit. I actually like that, but it's a little busy. And then, okay, girlfriend, you gotta go. Little kissy and bye-bye. So I will probably do more of layering that way. I know this doesn't seem as fun. But I might just go ahead and do this too. Flop this around. Use the yellow as like a little frame. Maybe I'll do that. And then I have the moths on the other side, don't I? Oh, I don't like that. I do not like that part. So I'm gonna Ew. fuss around with this for a while, guys and find out what I want to do for 100% sure. I kind of like that as a background too. So we, we've got some decisions to make. I have five pieces of paper and I have to sit there and ponder 100 times what I'm gonna do, but that's okay. That is okay. Because I don't want it to be completely washed out but I do want some. So anyways, I am going to go ahead. I really like that. So so I'm going to faff about guys and figure out what I want to use for my background and my frame and I will find the basic parts of my layout and I will be right back. All right, so I had to faff about and what happened is I was like, uh, I don't even know what sketch to use. So I was looking for an idea and a sketch and my girlfriend, Joanne Bartell, made a layout for me and I pulled it off my wall. Because it's gorgeous. And I was like, I am going to scrap lift that because I just have one photo of my Nana and I really want to showcase it because she's a little wild child. So I pulled this off and this is what I'm going to do. So I using this stripe for the background, I'm using this floral for this piece right here. And then I went and grabbed a border punch to do that. But I wanted to show you guys what I'm scrap lifting. Gorgeous. So I found this ephemera. Then I went and I grabbed my Simple Stories box and I dug through that and I cleaned it up a little bit. And I didn't really find a whole lot, but I did find a couple of things that I think I can incorporate into it. I have this six by eight vintage cottage. And let's see, what was I gonna do in this one? I can't even remember now. Maybe I wasn't gonna do anything. Maybe not. 
but I also have these sticker books here and I think I can pull in like some of the pink here. Let's see, of course I can use the labels and the word stickers. Oh, I can pull some butterflies. I can also use that alpha and then I did pull these alphas because I'm going to put wild child on there and I thought there was a couple of other pieces maybe not maybe not yeah maybe some of these I do have to get some journaling paper because I do not have any do I I think I just fibbed you guys oh I did I totally fibbed on you sorry for the reach I have this cardstock and woods, and I'm going to cut a piece of this so I can get my journaling spot over here. If I need a journaling spot, I don't know that I do because there's really not nothing. I'm not really journaling about anything. It's just maybe I'll just put my title over there. Okay. Okay, guys. Then I am going to use, oh, I know what. I was gonna, there was a piece of yellow that I was gonna use, or maybe it was just that pink for the circly bit on the bottom. Maybe that's what it was, but I can always bring in this pink here if I need to. Maybe I will. Never forget how amazing you are. Oh, I'm getting some ideas now, guys. I can always bring that in. It doesn't make it really pop a lot, but it's awfully pretty, especially if I wanted to fussy cut some of those. That looks good, doesn't it? That dark. <laughs> oh, I really like that. I wonder if I have another piece of that because I really like this right here. I wonder if I can incorporate that, you guys. That was totally just an off the wall thing there hmm yeah let me see if I can find some more of that paper now I have these pieces too that I might be able to fussy cut I'm liking that little bit of pop of black you guys that little pop of black oh looky there looky there okay we have another one just in case Look at now I've got all kinds of ideas. So never be afraid to grab your other products because you just never know. So sorry guys, if my container's here, I will put things back because it's my little thing. But I don't know that I want the stripes. We have a lot of different stripes going on here. So we're just gonna put that to the side. I have this. Now, Joe had this little circle down here now, bless her heart, she hand-stitched this. I don't know that I'm going to do that, okay? I'm just saying. But I do believe that I'm going to use this pale piece here for the circle. And then the pink I'm going to use is this outer rim. So I am going to go ahead and go grab all my bits and pieces. Oh, let me show you something else, too. I went and I grabbed my flare. She had flare on there. So I'm gonna grab that and then I will be back with my circles cut, my ephemera pieces chosen, and I'll probably have this adhered down as well, okay? Okay guys, I've got my pieces, some of them, cut and adhered down. So I went ahead and I did a border punch along the top here and the bottom and I used this lovely little punch there and then I triple matted my photo of my Nana. There's a pink layer, this yellow layer, and then when I pulled this piece of paper out right here, there's two of them, the six and by eight. I love the saying of it, but there was no way I was going to incorporate all of that. So I thought, okay, let's go ahead and cut it. If I fail, I have another piece, right? So when I added this, I really liked the black, and so I did do a small frame around this to make it pop. So I went ahead and I did that. And I'm just gonna kind of show you guys. I went ahead and did some circle cuts. I used my Cricut for this, actually, and I'm gonna pop that there. 
Now I'm not doing the stitching like Joanne did, but I do have this gingham and it kind of gives it a cute little look. So let me see here. This may need to have to come over here just a little bit. So I really, really like this floral on this six and eight, six by eight piece. So I went ahead and I did some fussy cutting with that. And I popped that. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought I needed to come over just a little bit more here. And then I'm going to bring this down because I'm going to fill this in. Now this I was able to cut and it's going to be fine without the square showing up. And we have a helper. And I had pulled some pieces out, but these are too white for me. I don't like the white. I know we have white. All right, just a sec. I just didn't like the way it was looking. So I X that out. And we're just going to put all these pieces. Oh, I did cut these little tiny leaves that was left over. That was left over. Do you guys love this proper English here? <laughs> I didn't have a whole lot to be able to fussy cut out of the paper of this yellow paper that was left over and you guys are going to hear sounds because um, so I just did what I could with these and let me see here I thought I know that one that was going to go there and if you strategically place these, you won't see the square lines. But see, I have that gap, and I'm going to fill that in. I just can't remember exactly how I had all this down. I may have brought that in more. It was all working beforehand, guys. I promise. <laughs> I promise, I promise. All right, Jazzy's back up here. All right, little sister, you better not be messing with me. Okay, anyways, I'm not going to be faffing about, oh, there we go, with this too much. So it's all going to kind of adhere down like that. I do have a couple of little ones that I will probably pop up. And then I have this little butterfly. And I think I'm going to put that guy up there, maybe. And then I have this little heart. And then I have this little leaf that I will probably like place there. And then I have these two that I'm going to fussy cut and adhere down. But until I adhere these down, I didn't want to cut them out. Does that make sense? So that little corner right there. Now I wanted to do something up here. And since I have the black here, I cut this out. And when I got done fussy cutting it, cutting this floral here I had enough that I could do just a little circle element there and I wanted to go ahead and put that there and then I have my little butterfly so cute so then down in this corner I kind of did lose some of my circle I may push this over just a hair bit But we'll see. And then I do have some more of these florals fussy cut out. And Joanne had a couple of tickets. And so I pulled these out of another collection. And I'm going to pop those in here. Love that. Here's some more floral. Oh, and I was going to go up here with... I, when I fussy cut, I do all the little bits and pieces usually because you never know when you're going to just need to add them. So, got those going on, those going on. I even have this little one here. And then I have this little butterfly that I'm going to pop up right there. And then I have my black like this. And I'm going to add another heart down here. Let me see if I can pull anything else in. I, I did pull these from the Vintage Cottage Fields. And it's not identical to this. But I thought maybe I could pop in just a few little things. Let's see here. 
celebrate each day. Now, Joanne had some flair on her layout, and I don't have any flair, and I don't know. These are so super thin. I think I'm gonna put these, some of these on a card on cardstock and pop pop these up, punch them out and pop them up. So I think I'm gonna use this one. And then let me see, let me get my. And then I really like, let's see, what other one can we use? One fine day. I have one fine day up there. I have best ever. Would that one work? Best ever. Oh, I like that. So now I need something up here and I don't have another wooden one. Let me see which one we could use though. I don't like that one. Joyful best. Can we use, hmm, I'd like to do a smaller one though. What about this guy right here? What do you guys think? I think we can make it work. We'll use that little one up there because this is a smaller cluster, right? Okay, we're cranking now, guys. We are cranking now. Okay, don't need any labels. Oh, maybe I can pull a couple of these down here. Natural beauty. And put these down here, which will bring this black down here further. Oh, good idea. I like natural beauty. I'll probably cut those off just a little bit. Good friends. Choose happy. She's always happy. And then one other. You shine bright. Oh, that is awesome. So I'm gonna get those three and I'm gonna have those down here. Oh, love it, because then it's gonna bring that black all the way around. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. I love it. I love it, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna stick with that, you guys. Now, I thought about adding some of this gold in here, but this is not a simple story, and I think I have enough going on that I really honestly don't need it. So what I'm gonna do is, we are gonna get our, where is our little, ooh, here we go. I have my Heidi Swap Color Shine Gold, and when I am done, I will flick a little bit all over the place because we've got to have a little blingy blingy. So guys, this is gonna be my layout. You will see the pieces at the end and I do apologize about this right here, but um, I am limited on time and I was like, I'm not even gonna fight with this. So um, please look at the close-ups at the end. And I want to thank you guys so much for being here. Please make sure you check out everybody that is playing. We've added some new people. And of course, we have some of the people that have been playing for a couple of years. I want to thank Joanne for putting this on. And I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys are having a super amazing day. And you're out there making lots of memories. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.